guys, we're back. Some of you seen the video that I just did recently with the Bahu Classic Pan. And this is a recipe for it. This is something new. I'm going to try it, see how it works. Picked up some Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, the cheap stuff in the box. I'm going to use two of those. They're really cheap, 68 cents, I think. I'm going to try a can of cream corn, throw it in there, see what that does. And I'm throwing a can of condensed milk in there. Sweetened, of course. Got to have some flavor. I got two eggs, so I'm going to get rid of those. Throw those guys in there. And I'm going to open this stuff first. There is nothing as far as directions I'm aware of. I looked on a couple of pieces on the internet, recipes if you will. And there's a couple ideas on this. Somebody put sour cream in there. I wasn't liking that idea because I didn't want the sourness in it. Oh, here's my cream corn. And we're going to see how this works. And some people say blend it. I don't want to blend it because I want some corn consistency. That's why I put cream corn. Condensed milk. I'm kind of going off the cuff on that one. I know it does really well in pumpkin pie. It's a little thicker. So I'm really hoping it'll bake up really nice. And we will see though. So I'm just going to go with it. And that's nice and thick. I thought about doing pudding. And then I was worried it was going to get too vanilla-y. And... There's quite a bit in there. I'm not going to worry about scraping it. I know it's wasteful, but I don't honestly think I need it all. So, just going to roll with it. And we're going to see what we got. And this is going to go into that cast iron bake pan I just did the seasoning video on. And the goal of it is to throw it in the smoker today with some meatloaf I did. And we will have a meatloaf recipe too. So I really hope after this weekend we're going to have a whole bunch of videos for y'all and hopefully you like them hopefully you subscribe if you're on the youtube we got a few subscribers there if you're on facebook hopefully keep liking hopefully you check the website out that's the goal of this and kind of have fun with this and do a little video editing while i'm at it try some experimentations with these recipes and if they turn out good I'll throw a recipe up on the recipe turns out good like it is said sorry my camera logged out I will throw it up on madmocookingandbrewing.com so you can see those recipes and print them off I encourage you all to like that look at it let me know give me some comments I'm gonna mix this up and see what we got and I know you can't hear that so apologize for my mixer so I'm gonna mix it up and there's nothing exciting about that but once I throw it into the cast iron bake pan, I'll show you that. I'll show you the smoker fired up with the meatloaf and that in there on the next video. So I'm going to do this, mix it up. Next point you see me, you'll see me putting this in the cast iron pan that currently is outside getting seasoned. So we'll see you in a couple seconds. Hey everybody, we're back on the cornbread deal. Some of you watched me season this pan already, so there you go. What I'm gonna do next is I got some stick butter. I love stick butter. It is not good, obviously, for your waistline. But what I try to do is not eat this stuff except for the weekend, obviously. So since I have no butter in this cornbread recipe, like I say, if it works, it will be on the site. I'm just gonna use a little stick butter to basically line my pan. What I'm doing now, I know you can't see it, but just going around in circles, I'm using a belt a tablespoon. I don't know if I'm gonna use all that, but I want to make sure my pan's got a layer of margin or butter, whatever you like. I don't have a preference at this point. I know some people swear by it, but I'm just going to coat my pan and some people are like, oh, it's not sanitary. Well, here's the thing. This stuff's going to go in the smoker. I'm going to try to get them up to about 300. Well, actually, I'm hoping for 350, and I think I'll be all right with my cast iron pan. I find they're forgiving, but some of you won't. So... That's kind of my goal. I don't even have a half a teaspoon right now. I, I just want a coating. Some of you people use Crisco, whatever. I, I really honestly don't want all that stuff, so this is easy to me. I like butter or margin, and like I say, my take with this cornbread piece, I, I think a little butter on there, or margin if you will, will be really good, and I'm trying to make sure I got these corners really good. And this is my first shot at this recipe, so hopefully it come out good. I'm a little concerned that I don't have any butter on there. And that's why I kind of like the idea of putting margarine. You know, we, we could do some on the top, but I kind of feel if it doesn't come out quite right, 
I obviously have some butter on the table, kind of melt that when it's warm, but that's that. So to worry about it, I'm going to say maybe I used a whole quarter of a teaspoon, so, or a tablespoon, sorry. So maybe a teaspoon. And that's actually smelling awesome. There's my cornbread mixture. And I'm just going to throw them in there. That's all that's to it. Knock that out with the spatula and make sure I got all that good stuff out of there. And like I say, it's, it's smelling good, but I don't know what it's going to do. I, I think we'll be fine with moisture. I'm not going to put a pan in there because we got a lot of moisture with the cream. Along with the cream corn and the condensated milk. I don't know if that's going to be a mistake, but I don't like my cornbread where it's dry and there's no flavor to it. I like a little sweetness to it, so, and I, I do like, I was at a rib fest one time and one of the ribbers made it with some corn in there and I, I thought that was a really sweet deal. Not everybody likes that, but I do, so I'm going to try it. So, again, you can't see this, I'm, I'm just leveling it out in my pan, and just so you know, the reason for me using this cutting board, I just don't want to scratch my counter any more than it already is. So that's about it. Try to give you a little peek of that. I'm sure you can't see it. I don't want to tilt it backwards or nothing like that. But next step of this, I'm going to use a gas smoker today. As you guys know, it's snowing, so I don't really want to try this on the trigger just because of electrical. And I also want to do meatloaf. So I'm going to use a gas smoker today. I was going to get a blank welding blanket for it. Never came yet. So we're going to run with it, see what it does. And I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. I'm pretty confident it's probably 20 degrees now, maybe a little higher. Maybe, so I, I still think we're going to have plenty of heat with the gas smoker. When I season this pan, the, the grill easily got up to 700. Well, not seven, five, 600. But, so, I'm going to get the smoker set up and I will be back with you on that. Did a little trick with my Thermo Pro too. A little, not really a mod, but I'll show you that. But I want to get to go into that, so be back in a few seconds. All right, I'm back. So I have the smoker set up. Cornbread's still sitting here. But what I've seen online in cast iron, I'm hearing 400, 450. We're sitting at 414. My smoker's kind of hanging out between that 418, 425-ish range, so I'm going to run with it. I'm going to see what it does. Maybe it's too hot, maybe it's not, but recipes online I've seen in cast iron around that 400, so I'm going to throw my chip box in, give it a little smoke, throw it in, and obviously I'm going to leave heat, and I put it in the cast iron because I'm not going to try to pour the batter in. I, I don't see where that's going to make this big difference, but maybe it's not. But it's hovering right around that 415, 425. My wind isn't too bad, but I do got snow. So I'll show you that in a bit. I'm going to set this up. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I just threw the cornbread in. You can see I'm down to 289, but I want to give you a visual so you can honestly see that I'm actually doing this. And it is snowing pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to jump outside, show you what we got. I'm hovering around that 400 zone is what I want to be doing. Um, sorry about the camera, but I kind of like to take you a visual out and like I say it's snowing so I'm gonna go out there with you apologize about the darkness, but we're heading out there. So We're going outside You can see that the smoker is smoking away and I want to show you that I actually do have the cornbread in there. So there you have it and I don't want to keep that open too long and point of it is too uh, I barely got that pan in there I should have measured that smoker I had to get over these little pieces sorry about the snowstorm like my thermal pro mod my little bag keep that guy dry I think that'll work got a little wind coming up here but you can see it's smoking away so I'm gonna let it run for 15 minutes and I'm gonna come back on and check it I'm probably not gonna show you that because I'm really gonna try to watch watch this uh, weather and I'm gonna actually do my meatloaf today so make Sorry about my curtain. Um, we are doing meatloaf, we are doing cornbread, and we're smoking it, and I'm not gonna call this snowstorm, but relatively some snow coming down. See you when it's done. Okay, I am back. I have the cornbread out of the smoker. A couple things went like normal. Too high a temp, got a little chip fire. 
Got that under control. I was hoping to be around that 400 range. I uh, really never stabilized there. Finally got around that 350, 370 range. So I'm guessing it took me uh, at least an hour, if not an hour and a half to get this done. And normally they say half hour, but whatever. It came out, looks good. I think that's part of smoking, especially with a gas smoker. Me personally, I, I, I try to get close to temp. It settles in, the heck with it. I'm not gonna keep playing with it. But here's our end result, people. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, hopefully it does come out. Got a little brown to the side. I don't want to cook it much more. I think the cast iron's forgiven, but again, I'm pretty brown as brown as I liked around the corner. So I'm gonna pull it there. We'll see how it comes out. Tastes good. I will definitely post it to the website, madmocookingbrewing.com. In the meantime, please check out YouTube. More videos there, more videos on the website, more videos on Facebook. Really hope you will all move to YouTube, make it a couple of cents if I get enough subscribers there. But Please like the videos, please comment, please subscribe, more to come. I'm still going to do a meatloaf today, so we'll have that video up, and I should have a seasoning video up on this cast iron too, today or for sure tomorrow. So again, thanks for watching, Till next time.